let's go ahead and move on to example two, which says write a function named distance to origin that takes any position representing a point on the screen and computes the straight line distance from this point to the top left corner, the coordinate zero, zero. Again, like before, this is called distance to origin. It takes any position, and this one's going to produce a number. So distance to origin consumes a position and produces a number. We can define distance to origin of a point and put a skeleton in there and we can do a check expect distance to origin I'm gonna make position I'm gonna make the position 3 4 because this should produce a nice simple answer if we think about a Pythagorean triple a triangle that has legs of three and four, the hypotenuse should be, yep, you guessed it, five. So that point should be a distance of five from the origin. Let's do another one, distance to origin. Let's make position um, five, twelve. Uh, another Pythagorean triple. Yep, you guessed it, that should be 13 from the origin. So there's a couple of them. Hmm. Now we have to think about what formula we want to use here. Remember, <clears throat> algebraically, we are going to square the difference in the x-coordinates, square the difference in the y-coordinates, add them together, and take the square root. Well, since it's from the origin, that's the point zero, 0, we really just need the x-coordinate of the point, square it, and the y-coordinate from the point, square it, add those together, and take the square root. So let's start with that. Square root of the sum of the square of position x of points plus the square of position y of points We add those together, we take the square root, that should close everything up, and let's run, and both of the tests passed.